Hello, hello. I am your eventually live host, Anon Jr. Uh, coming to you from the CoffeeCraft server. My apologies to the uh, five people who actually have been following the Zelda series that I normally record on Fridays. Uh, it's been... It's been a week. It has been a very, very not in the good way special week. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, instead of uh, the normal Zelda series, which I probably could have recorded, but I don't think it would have come out in a way that made anybody happy, I am instead going to going to uh chill do do some minecraft and chill uh <laughs> in between tuesday's stream and today obviously i've done a couple more changes to the sugarcane farm if you remember this past tuesday i raised up that wall added a little bit of a sugarcane farm on the top of it it's it, it's doing it's doing okay um man i am torn between whether or not i want to make this bigger um tuesday we finished with this section here although i had some leaves across the top to keep the sugarcane from growing too high but honestly with the with the redstone clock running as quick as it is it doesn't have enough time to do that so uh, I reharvested the leaves because I was going to need them to double it and put a second one over on this side. Um, <clears throat> so I've got four sections of eight, no, nine sugar cane uh, growing. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's doing, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Um, uh, at some point, I'll try to figure out a better way to do this clock. I mean, technically, I got a whole nother row right here, and with four slots to add, throw in more, <laughs> more delay, more repeaters, um, it's possible that I could, uh, that I could make this work. Possible. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, so, I don't know. I, I think, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to add the kind of delay that I want to with a repeater clock like what I've got going right here. The, these are really better for small scale levels of delay. I mean, you can keep stacking these all you want. But I don't like the 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 poor resource management. There are better ways of doing longer delay in a smaller footprint uh, with less impact on hello beach duck with uh, with less impact on the server. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do the one that I'm pretty sure I need to do until. I can get to the nether and get some nether quartz. Of course, at that point, once I get to the nether and get some nether quartz, uh, even though they're they're pretty expensive, I could just pop an observer right, um, right down at that last stone block looking at the base of the sugar cane plant. Because if I remember right, when it grows, it should... No, the boat didn't work, Beach Duck. It did not work at all. Um, if I remember right, when the sugar cane grows, it should update the base, which means that the, that the observer will detect it and be able to fire off the piston. And then I could have these all keyed to one particular sugar cane. I, it doesn't make the harvesting any more random than it already is, uh, but it might be better in the long run. Uh, Honestly, the, the perfect thing to do would be to either hook it up to a daylight sensor so the these spend half the day growing and then get harvested when it changes from day to night 
and then get harvested again when it changes back from night to day. Um, but that requires stuff that I, I just don't have right now. Uh, the other option would be to do a hopper clock, which is my preferred go-to timer, but that would tie up two of the 50 hoppers I have available in Skyblock. And, um, I, man, that that's, you know, it's amazing the things you can do when you're not hindered by a, a cap on uh, resource utilization. Uh, I'm not complaining, though. I mean, technically, I'm the admin, and I could turn that off. But it's not nearly as much fun. And, uh, and we, it encourages a certain amount of creativity too in coming up with solutions. Like I, there, there's a lot of things that I don't think I would have done or I wouldn't have planned the way I've planned if I didn't have some of the limitations that we have right now. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me grab these guys. I'll grab these guys because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fix that wall <laughs> real quick. I mean, of all the things that I need to be doing right now, fixing that wall is none of them. I, I mean, if you saw the title screen or, or the the ch go live channel title thingy. Um, <coughs> The, the intent was to do the mob dropper because uh, everything everything is pinned down on the mob farm and I got a I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do for that um, and, and so it's going to involve working on here until I can get uh yeah and, and expanding up the storage and upgrading the kill chamber and all that good fun stuff uh, that's not likely to happen until more. I also need a more productive pumpkin farm. One stem is not enough. Uh, the melon farm looks more productive. That's only because this breaks them down into slices instead of whole melons. I'm pretty sure if I brought that back up to whole melons, this wouldn't look as impressive either. But uh, so yeah, better better these guys are are on on the agenda uh egg farms are ridiculous uh th these things are are stupidly ridiculous maybe once uh maybe once i get the mob farm together i'll have the string and some of the other resources i need to uh hook the extra eggs up into a chicken cooker and and end up with a supply of cooked chicken instead of having to craft up melons or uh, pumpkin pie or yeah you, know, you get the idea all the ores or 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 uh, I should probably also move this ladder I I wasn't planning on keeping the ladder but I may, I may need to anyway, which means uh, if that ladder is going to stay, well, yeah, because I've already been thinking that if, if by the end of next week, it's looking like this just isn't putting out the kind of sugar cane I need, the way I've got this set up. I can build another layer on top of this. So in other words, I could put a piece of dirt over this layer of leaves, uh, or well, a strip of dirt, and then build up another one, you know, put some uh, waterlogged stairs behind it so that way nothing flows over into the redstone. Um, and then just tie another piston above to that same bit of redstone there and there. And, and double again what I've got here by building another farm on top of this side, another farm on top of that side, and uh, raise up the wall a little bit more. That's a thought. That's a thought. But, 
I can't do that while uh, while this ladder's here. And I'm gonna have to tear it down anyway, at least until I can get the replacement uh, the replacement stuff. So let's pull that. Let's try not to chop down the ladder that we're actually standing on. And ask, how are y'all doing today? What is that noise? Is it the piston? I think I hear the piston up there. It sounds an awful lot like that is the uh, that is the piston, hmm. which is weird because I really thought I had set that up so that I didn't have to uh, I didn't have to worry about that. All right. Let's get. Gamma. Oh. Uh, no, there shouldn't be any redstone on top of this. He says with some trepidation. Okay. No, I did catch the slab. Wow. Isn't that special? I didn't even think about the fact that the redstone would be right there. Hmm. All right. Now, let's get those there for the moment. And let's start working on this wall then. I mean, again, I return back to of all the things that I need to be working on, this is, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. I am so not going to worry about it. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, put some of this stuff away and let's take a hard look at a couple of things. Um, I hate that when grading your island and checking levels, it's going to, um, it's going to count these trees that I'm waiting to harvest because I just kind of haven't had time to work on those guys yet. But let's, uh, if I were me, where would I have put the ladders? <laughs> it's going to be that kind of day. It is absolutely that kind of day. Let's get those. Uh, no. Cool. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess you're going in there for now. And my dark oak can go there. I gotta remember that I got a bunch of dark oak planks already before I go tearing down a bunch more. Yeah. Alright. Uh, nothing I gotta worry about clearing out of there. What did I come up here for? I came up here for something. Oh, I was going to work on the mob dropper. So I'm going to need the four sticky pistons. I think I only need two target blocks. But I might need as many as four. And honestly, I'm not even sure it has to be target blocks. It probably doesn't have to be target blocks. You know, with as expensive as those are, I'm not going to use the target blocks. Uh, I am going to work on, on wood collecting. I just... Uh, I don't have the farm design that I want to use figured out yet. Uh, it requires me to look up how big some of the trees grow. 
Like, uh, I mean, the idea is I just want to suspend some dirt over a basin big enough to catch the saplings and sticks and stuff that drop. So, like, I know that birch trees, no matter how tall they grow, the, the leaf, the foliage on top is always going to be two blocks out from the center. Period. Full stop. Uh, oak is a little different. That is one of a number of different uh, foliage designs that can grow. And I've constrained some of that by putting that slab up there. Uh, that slab means the game will not grow anything taller than seven blocks. Which uh, I did mostly so that way I didn't have the, the frustration that is sometimes harvesting oak. Uh, because sometimes you get this one random log in the weirdest place. Uh, likewise, I know acacia always grows with that funky branch tilting off in one direction or another. But I can never remember just how far that branch is and how big a basin I would need to collect everything off of the longest side. Like, yeah, so this is one, two, three, four, five blocks off to the side. Uh, three, four, yeah, so it's obviously going to have to be, uh, at least big enough to accommodate a five block gap. Uh, spruce is another one that gets a little, gets a little funky from time to time. So we got one, two, three, four. I don't think it ever gets any bigger than that though. Especially if you're, uh, even if you're doing the double wide, I think that's about as wide and big bushy as a uh, as a spruce tree gets but I would like to double check that and and the other trees are similar that they've got one of a couple of different ones that can grow but here is the big kicker the jungle trees the only way I seem to be able to get enough saplings to keep regrowing without having to do the apple collector thing is to grow the 2 by 2 spruce trees, the large ones, which always grow with a branch in one of the four cardinal directions. And I don't know if it has an affinity for one direction or another. I don't, I don't think so. But more importantly, um, more importantly, I don't remember how big the branches can get. And I want to make sure that I get a basin big enough to catch all the saplings once you start breaking down the, uh, the branch. Or at least that's the, uh, that's the intent. That's the thought. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I, I need to, any simpler objectives to, to work to, oh, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going to keep turning in that cactus farm every time I can, even though I don't technically need the sand. If I can possibly avoid it, I'm going to not uh, convert the sand into glass. I'm going to wait until I get a villager before I start creating more glass. I've already got the 55 panes and another 16 blocks and some bottles that I've already made with some of the sand I've collected from completing challenges. And, and I made that farm with a lot of the sand that I got out of the cactus farm. Um, but I'm going to need a lot more sand, and completing challenges seems to be the only way to collect more. And at some point, I need to build this monstrosity of sandstone... And right now, the only way to get sand stone is by crafting it out of sand, which is only available to complete challenges. Like, uh, once I get to island level 500, I'll get 64 sand. Uh, so that'll get me 32 of the blocks where I need 512 sandstone, 64 chiseled sandstone, 128 smooth sandstone, 64 regular sandstone stairs, uh, 100, 192 sandstone slabs, and 16 red sandstone. Uh, that one's always kind of puzzled me. I, I don't know if one of the, one of these other challenges gives you, uh red sandstone 
Because while we have a data pack that, or sorry, a resource pack. Uh, no, I, no, no, I'm sorry. I said that right the first time. A data pack that lets you, uh, where's some sand? I left all my sand down, downstairs, didn't I? All right. Let's head down real quick. So while we have a data pack that lets us get... Wait a second. Uh, do I have the recipe wrong? I need two of them, don't I? No. Okay. Uh, I, I was trying to remember what the ratio was for the recipe. So while we get a data pack that lets you craft red sandstone that is not a red sand... That is not technically vanilla Minecraft. That That is because of a data pack that we added that adds the custom recipe. Uh, so I'm curious. I'm going to need that anyway. Uh, so I'm curious what, what the original method for getting uh, red sandstone is supposed to be. I shouldn't. Have, I should have stayed up there. Cause uh, there's there's no other means that I'm aware of. All right. Uh, I need I need a few things. All right. So I got that. I got that. I'm gonna need a couple of redstone blocks, mostly because I just need the the redstone. I'll take the dust with me just in case. I need... I need a couple of blocks that can be powered. I mean... Alright. Uh, technically, I can use... Um, words. How do they work? Uh, technically, I can I can definitely use the target blocks, but it takes four redstone and a bale of wheat to make a target block. Those guys are expensive. Uh, so rather than do that kind of flex, I think what I'm going to do is use four note blocks because they can be powered in a way that should power the sticky pistons. I need, I'll take the dark oak with me, because that, that might be useful. Um, I should probably take some spruce with me, just because I have a ton of it. I'm going to take, you know what, instead of doing half slabs, I could probably make the platform out of leaves. That would achieve the same basic goal of making it spawn proof and not... Uh, I wonder if I should just make the whole thing out of uh, out of lumber. That's a thought. Oh, now I remember why I was saving that rose. I needed um uh, or that poppy. I I needed red dye for the <sighs> the words. I needed that red dye for the uh, the bed. So I can complete the uh, the challenge, the homeowner challenge, because that requires a red bed, a crafting table, glass, uh, oak door, furnace, bookshelf, and a torch. Uh, and mostly the big reason why I need this is not for, the, I mean, the redstone ore, ink sacks, and iron ore are nice. They're not the most necessary thing on my agenda, but... You can't do the nether portal challenge until you unlock homeowner. You can't do the iron farm challenge until you do monster farm. Monster farm require... No, monster farm is that one. Um, there, there's a couple others here that require things that you have to have done homeowner for first. And, and so it's just one of those cascading challenge type deals. Um... I'm tempted to go ahead and do the technician, but 
Uh, <laughs> a, I need quartz for some of the requirements because I, I need quartz for the daylight detector. Uh, I need quartz for the comparators. I'd really like to have an iron farm up and going before I build uh, the pistons and sticky pistons that are going to disappear when I turn this in. I also need more string for another dropper. Uh, sorry, no, dispenser. I always get the two mixed up. Um, and I'm going to need quartz for the daylight detector. So, yeah, I, I need another access to do that. Uh, I need to actually fish for that one. I also need to fish for that one. And I'll find some other way to cheese it. Maybe I'll build a giant magma block fueled machine. Uh, let me grab some quartz because I think I'm going to use that. I haven't used that too much and it is collecting. I No, I'm not. To the only thing I'm going to use diorite for is crafting more andesite. Um, Alright. That's right. I'm going to need a bunch of spruce trapdoors. Oh, so I'll take the 12 I got with me. I don't need the pressure plates. Um, I'm going to need some building blocks for a fair amount of it. And I'm tempted to use the cobble, but... Man, I just... I've used so much cobble already, so I think instead... I'll grab a bunch of stone. I'll grab a bunch of andesite. Uh, I'll grab some cobble when I get down there. I've got a chest that I can use. Yeah, I'll grab the cobble now. Is the water bucket down there? I think the water bucket is down there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, ooh, I'm probably going to need a bunch of ladders, too. Uh, inventory space. The final frontier. Alright, let's see what I got going down that way. So I got a few more ladders there. I'm gonna need. I'll come back for the ladders in a second because I need. I need not not a sign. I bloody oath. I need a chest, and uh, I'll, I'll put a bunch of stuff in the chest because I'll have to get to that later. Probably ought to. Let's do this. Let's put that there. We'll get the stone. We'll get the andesite. Um, just uh, temporarily. I won't need those right away. So I got building blocks for inside. I got lumber for trapdoors. I got the pistons and some decorative blocks. Um, oh, I should probably grab. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it a little more consistent with the design that I started over there. So it's gonna have a stone base and a wood top. Uh, so let me grab, yeah, I need, I need to grab some more of that from up top. I'm going to grab some stone, you know, I'm going to grab some cracked stone bricks to throw in there too. I'll probably need those before too long. Uh, what, what was it that I needed? I mean, needed, needed. A brain. 
Ah, uh, which one? That one? Or that one? Because we, we all have the same amount of space. In the sense that everybody's island ha ha is the same sized square. Uh, the difference is is who, who's built what and where. So far, I, I haven't done too much with uh, upstairs. I've been mostly focused on down here building farms. Uh, medic's been building some stuff scattered hither and yon. Most of it's up there near the top, though. With only a couple things down here. And Arcadius has also been a little haphazard with most of his stuff up at the top. And Rayest is working on her column of cobble in the middle. Um... Oh, that's right. I'm going to need more ladders. More ladders. Uh, I think... Mm. I also got to figure out how I'm going to get up there. Up where I need to go. Probably also going to need to make some more tools in a little bit, too. Alright, so once I upgrade this, that means that a ch another chest is going to have to go on that spot and this spot. Which means all this is going to get pushed back by one. That's what I need to remember, is all that's going to get pushed back by one. Where, where's my brain? Lost. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Because I emptied that out last night. I don't know if Medic or Arcadius have been on. If they have been, then the farm should have been harvesting. Uh, so I got four and a bit stacks of cactus, and it seems to be growing pretty quick. I got two and a bit stacks of sugar cane. So I guess the question is, once I get to actually using the sugar cane, if that's going to be enough, and I'm going to need I'm going to need a fair amount of it for paper to make books. I'm going to need. Well, I don't know if we're going to get to the end before the end of the uh, before the end of the season. So that that's a open guess right there. Um. I'm going to need paper for trading, paper for that. I'm going to still need sugar for the uh, pumpkin pies until I can get a better food source going. Do, do I want to just build it right here? Like, just hop on up and climb on up? Uh, that. That is an interesting question. All right, I'm going to need to take these guys with me. I'll take that with me. Um, I think I just want to attach the ladder to the wall there. All right, so I'm going to need to go up. There we go. There's the crafting table. Where's my ladder recipe? Because I got that short-term memory thing and I can't remember what it's called. That's probably not going to be enough ladders. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out from there. Uh, so wherever this goes up, that's where I'm going to be climbing up. Uh, and so if I put it right there, that means I'm going to have... One block before the killing chamber. I don't think I want to do that. 
I almost want to continue this kind of stair here and just go up the side and just start doing half slab, <laughs> half slabs on up until I reach where I want. But that, that's going to that's gonna alter the design of the actual farm itself too much. I need to be climbing up either the side or the front. So I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll tuck it over... I'll tuck it over to the side here. All right, so we're gonna need uh, no ladder's gonna happen there. Can I get on? Uh, or is that too tall? That appears to be too tall. All right, let me grab a cobble and not there though. I mean, it's not like I can't move this later. But I think what I'll do is I'll set this even to this guy right here. That's going to have to get removed. So I can put that there to get those there. Now I can climb up. I want my platform to be high enough that when I'm standing around, I am roughly 20, 24, 24 blocks away. from that near edge because I want the slime farm to be able to be activated while I'm up there so if that is what the stone yeah so that means it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, seven. Right, Twenty-four. Yeah, we'll go with, uh, yeah, we'll just do this. That should put me high enough that those platforms will still activate. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, my. Ooh. That was almost bad. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. That was, that was very nearly very, very bad. <laughs> okay. Time for time for a momentary breather. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go out one. Ah, bother! I really didn't want to waste a leaf like that. Yeah, maybe I'll make it look intentional later. So one, two, three. That puts me right over there which is where I want to drop the mobs. I want them falling on that block and that block. So that's where the mobs are going to fall. 
let me uh let me go ahead and go two that's my basic platform right because that one is going to put me in line with that guy there. That one's going to put me in line with that guy there. And one more hole forward puts me with that guy there. And that guy there. Uh, the interesting part's going to be if these guys <laughs> fall the way that uh, I am anticipating them to. Alright, so where do I want to start? Stand while I'm waiting AFK. I do I want to be over this? Because I should be far enough up. But the closer I am that way, the more trouble there's going to be. Um hmm. Yeah. This should be okay. No? Or do I want it to be here? Of course, if I do it here, that means I'm going to have some redstone facing that way. If I set myself here, that might be the better part. Ah, oh, bother. Let's get a little more platform in our platform, shall we? All right, so we've got a little more platform on our platform. Uh, I'll set myself up here, which means that I'll need a sticky piston there and there. And I'll need a sticky piston there and there. my note blocks to power them. Um, actually, I wonder... Oh, I'm going to need a... Uh, I need a lever. I thought I brought a lever with me. No, I didn't bring a le lever. Lever. Just for kicks. I'll put those guys there. I'm going to need... I think I actually need to be half a block lower than I am. Which means... Getting rid of those going like that. Although I, I, I guess I do need to worry about them getting stuck. Yeah, I think that's what I need from this side anyway. I need the glass panes. I need a lever. And then I can start building upwards again. Try not to fall off the ladder this time. Oh, look, I got a lever. Uh, I need the glass. I'm going to need a fair number of building blocks. I don't need the stairs, though. I just want to leave. Uh, mm, uh. I'm going to need more ladder. 
here too. Yeah. Yeah, that should be okay. Um perhaps. I think I'm done with the leaf blocks for the moment. Never hurts to have that handy. I'll grab more stone and a site and cobble. Uh I'm not gonna do anything with the granite. guess not. Uh, I don't need that on me at the moment. I don't need that on me at the moment. I do need... Is 12 trapdoors going to be enough? I don't think so. I guess we'll find out. No, almost certainly not going to be enough. just to be safe. <laughs> All right. Okay. So far, so good. Interesting. I can't put uh, redstone on leaves. Hmm. Who knew? Ooh. And I see the flaw in my plan. <laughs> I do need the leaves. <laughs> Whiskey or the coffee is going to help me manage this. Probably not. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Mostly because while I'm working on this, I don't want uh, stuff hanging out the bottom. Alright, so that is now back, so that way when those are retracted... Do this the easy way. Put a couple of spacers in there, and when I do that, I almost forgot. Oh yeah, that that puts it right up on the. Uh, all right, that's good. I would have thought with uh, quasi connectivity that would have powered both of them. Good to know that it doesn't. Nope. That's not going to work. Okay. 
leaf, I have a problem. Sorry. Not sorry. I mean, the simple solution is to just go ahead and put two levers. So that way I flick one lever, flick the other lever. And uh, that closes up that gap there. But... Why take the easy way out? I'm going to need... Those guys. Three... glass in the dark is not uh this is not fun all right i'll explain the glass in just a minute what i need to do next is figure out I think I'm going to just go ahead and run that right there, like so. And... How do I want to run that redstone signal? I could use a repeater to pull the signal out of this and then go around and then drop it into power that one it's probably strong enough that I could just throw more blocks at it too and just uh, put um do I have any regular brick? I didn't bring any regular brick Let's uh let's get some good old fashioned regular brick in here too. We'll hide it uh like so. That's going to be 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, or 3, 2. Okay. That is definitely not how I wanted to do it. I really wanted to hide that redstone better. Uh, which, again, I could have done if I was willing to drop, instead of instead of doing the leaf blocks, or drop the leaf blocks down a level. I mean, that's still always an option. Because everything up here can be torn down except the glass. I don't have a silk touch pick and I can't afford to be wasting glass like that. Not not at this juncture. Alright. That settles it. Oh. Oh my.
need more regular brick. I really ought to, uh, I should probably set some more brick to cooking now that I'm thinking about it. Eh. So here's the problem. I'm going to have a mob spawner up in the sky a little bit further. And it's going to generate all the mobs. What I do not want to happen... Actually, I could probably do that. No, I should, probably should do that. And then I can do... That. We'll see if I we'll we'll see how well that works out. But the idea the problem is I'm gonna have all sorts of mobs dropping down out of this box. That means that uh zombies, skeletons, which is not a problem. Uh when I'm up here with that lever engaged, they're gonna land on this platform. I'm gonna be down here where they can't see me, same for creepers. And I can knock them out and, and pick up the stuff and go about my merry. Um, I guess I can do that from up here too. Alright. Let me go back and put the leaves in here. For some reason I thought I had to be... Uh, thought I had to be one block lower. But that should be just fine. Uh, I should probably... Uh, <laughs> since some of these guys will possibly spawn with thorns, which uh, could knock me back. I should probably put a safety fence right there. Alright, let's see if I can actually finish the thought. So, creepers, zombies, skeletons, they're going to fall in this little 2x2 two two spot. Uh, which... I think I screwed up. I did screw it up. That is not a two by two. <laughs> That's not a two by two hole. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be working on this right now. Trying to pick that up with a pickaxe. Uh, shoot. All right. That's my own fault. That's my own fault. That should be coming out one more. Like that. And like that. Which means that should be coming there. And there. And there. And those guys come forward one more. And then we get there and there. So I can fit under here and swing away at these guys. They should not see me. And what will happen is... The, the, the whole reason why this is getting overly complicated instead of doing a, a simple thing like that or like that is this is also going to generate spiders spiders can climb up surfaces so what i'm doing is i'm creating a little spider trap down here at the bottom the spiders uh won't be able to jump past the glass so they'll start climbing up the glass and they can't get over that half block lip from from the glass sitting so far in uh, I guess technically I probably could have done this out of fence, but I didn't. I didn't test it with fence. I only tested it with glass panes, because I know glass panes uh, give you more of a lip for them to get stuck on. And I can't remember what their actual um, radius is. Sorry, I just 
realize I probably ought to go all out on the uh, safety fence on that side. <laughs> uh, I'll figure out the other sides in a minute. Um, so the idea is that they, they fall down here and when they try to climb up away from me, they'll get hooked on that lip and the guys in the back will still be able to reach from here, even the guys on the sides. And if I remember right, their, their hitbox, which is, which is uh, 1.4 blocks wide, their hitbox should be big enough that even with these guys down from here, I should still be able to reach up and kill the spiders from up there. Uh, if not, I can always drop these trap doors and I could take care of the guys that are close up right here. Um, my concern is when I do this, <laughs> and that happens. Uh, interesting. I, I didn't think that that would have powered... Well, no, because levers power the block in a sphere around them. So it's not just the block that they're attached to. They do actually technically power more than just that. They can't power the leaves because uh, leaves are transparent to redstone. But they can pow uh, quasi-connectivity power the trapdoor. I'll have to remember that. Anyway, my concern is that when I open the drop chute, the idea, the intent, is for them to fall down the chute to their death on top of the fires there and get caught up in the collections, the same collection system that the slimes use. That is the intent. As we all know, intent and actuality don't always line up. So I, I'm worried that because I've got a lip on the bottom side here, they could end up falling and catching on that lip and not dying and just clogging up the drop chute. Um, although theoretically they, they should still get knocked off and down into that chute. Theoretically, ostensibly. I wonder if I could, or if I should do that as well. Of course, when I do that, is that gonna, no. All right. That might be okay. Because I, I just want a safety railing for when it's like this, so I don't walk into the hole by accident. Um, I should probably also get a little bit of light up here. Yeah. I need to go get some torches. Let me go get some torches. And then, and then I'll further figure out some of the other issues. Uh, I've also got that one block up there that technically, you know what? You know, you know, before before the very unfortunate happens, because this is in a slime chunk, uh, and that is a spawnable surface, <laughs> and this is within the uh, the purview of where the slimes can do their thing. Okay, so they can't spawn on the redstone. They can't spawn on the leaves. If I remember correctly. Uh, I, so I should be able to walk away and not come back with a bunch of slime spawning. Except for up there. On those blocks. Um, oh, phew. Kidding me. I just want to make sure I don't come up here to a big honking slime taking up my spot. Uh, well. Oh. That does make it interesting, because because I need to slime-proof it, that will, by its very nature, mob-proof it, and I don't need the light, except for decoration. So I may, you know, I'm going to grab two torches anyway, just so there's light up here at night. Oh, and the other thing that does is I can stand under those uh, trap doors and not, I didn't think that was that far a drop, 
uh, I can stand under those two trap doors and not have to worry about uh, phantoms coming to get me while I stand AFK. Uh, let me grab just two torches because inventory management is a problem. Uh, I should probably get two, some more cobblestone cooking because I'm probably going to need more regular stone this go around. Especially since I, I keep making bricks. Uh, this is actually all... I don't know why I crafted up so much glass. I didn't. I don't. I don't. I don't need any more. I don't need any more right now. That's not the same thing as I don't need any more. Deep breath. Usa. <laughs> Nothing fell in here. Nothing fell in here. Okay. Let's make our way back to the top. And part of the reason why I'm building this up as high as I can, I want to... So, at this elevation, I am high enough that those spawn platforms should still be active. Because mobs have to be 24 blocks away from you. Outside of 24 blocks, they'll spawn. I am 30 blocks up. But those blocks are what three, four blocks high. So yeah, I should be, I should be good. I should be good. And then I need to get the mob spawner itself forty block or above Y forty within the spawn chunks or within the slime chunks. Spawn chunks. That's something totally to. Oh, um, since I am at an elevation, shoot, I'm not going to be able to work on this at night, and I don't have a bed yet. That does make for an interesting conundrum, doesn't it? Alright, while I ponder the imponderable, uh, let me go to intermission so I can feed a Java because it is his dinner time and Arcadius is racked out. Okay, we're back. Because uh, one of the other things I keep forgetting is uh, <laughs> to to uh, to figure out how I'm going to get the redstone signal up. I th I mean I could always do a torch tower. I I could even do a torch tower above 
this right here um, and set it up so that when I the act of extending that out turns on the clock but I also want to be able to run it without that so no no no, no. I don't want to tie that to I don't want to tie the clock for the farm to this lever here um I may I may replace that with real fence before too long just because that's getting old quick with, with that one trapdoor <laughs> doing that and because it would also allow me to uh, to actually you know uh, round that corner better but uh, I'll save that for a little bit later once I've gotten the hard part figured out which is what I'm gonna do once I get to the top because um, I know I know I need a 22 block drop between the spawner it, oh and that's why I needed all that glass uh, you'll, you'll see it'll make sense in a minute all right let's try not to die falling out of this thing shall we uh no that's not where I put the glass Although, that's where I can take just a smidge more. No. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, hmm. I'm going to need the glass and the water bucket. That was That was one of the other things I was forgetting. Should be good with the leaves now. I don't think I need any more leaves. Oh, it's good to know I got more. Uh, I'll come back and do the fence later. I don't need any boxing up there. I'll try to build something prettier later, too. I wouldn't mind getting a bubble vader going. Uh, although, you know, what I'd love is to get Elytra again. So I could just fly up to this platform instead <laughs> instead of climbing or bubble vadering or whatevering my way up. Uh, can okay, good. That way I can keep myself from falling. Although, oh yeah, yeah. That, wait, yeah, that's right, that's right. I can't put those there. Uh, can I put it? Nope. I can't put it on the leaves. Is weird, but okay. Uh, can I? Uh, I can put that there. That at least cuts that. I'll figure that out later. Hang on. Okay, second intermission over. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, you know what? Or I could just put them there. Because those aren't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Alright, so if I need it to be 22 blocks up. Um... How do I want to do this? Twenty is it twenty two? Uh, fall. Hang on. Let me let me actually look this up because I I don't want to I don't want to tell you wrong either. Fall damage. I'm pretty sure that. Oh. <laughs> I, I really want to say it's like 22, uh, uh, if 
fireworks down, sword fire, trident, yada yada yada, attack cooldown, item, critical hit immunity. Damage inflicted by mobs, knockback, natural damage, falling damage. Uh, mobs are free damage when falling from excessive heights. Armor does not reduce fall damage unless they have feather falling, protection, uh, slow falling, and resistance. <laughs> oh, interesting. I didn't know this. You ready for this one? Uh, donkeys, horses, mules, skeleton horses, skeletal horse men, and zombie horses, which are in the game but not uh, only achievable via admin commands, take half the falling distance damage. Bats, bees, cats, chickens, iron golems, ocelots, parrots, and snow golems are immune to fall damage. As are blaze, chicken jockeys, ender dragons, ghast, magma cubes, phantoms, vex, withers, and shulkers. Because shulkers don't fall, they teleport. Um, goats take ten hearts less, or five hearts, ten uh Five hearts less fall damage than whatever they're supposed to get. All right. Uh, okay, fall damage is one. Half a heart for each block of fall distance after the third. I, I, need, I need to get that math overlay that you see in, like, the CSI type shows. Um... A 23 block fall is enough to kill a player at full health with no armor. Somebody just give me the shorter answer. I think I'm right with the 22 blocks, because that, that should... Or 22 to 22 and a half, but... Uh, Of course, everybody's leaking, uh, linking me to videos now. I can't watch a video while I'm making a video. That... Okay. No, oh, no. There it is. Uh, just double checking. Uh, 22 blocks will leave a normal mob, a creeper, zombie, etc. with half a heart. So I was I was right based off of the, the two that it is a 22 block drop. So... Back to the game. From the extended pistons there. From that little cracked cracked brick. Uh, <laughs> that little bit of... Hey guys. You can join me in Discord too. Um, from that little cracked brick, brick platform. They need to drop another 22 blocks. So that platform is at Y31. 31 plus 22 is 53. So I just need to build my tower up until I get to Y53. Let me write that down because I am that absent-minded today that I will forget that I just calculated that that should be 53. And that is why I'm playing Minecraft instead of Zelda today, because I will literally forget, not two minutes after I calculated it out, that that's what I needed. Oh. <laughs> it's been that kind of week, guys. Alright. There that is. There that is. We'll do that. Let's uh, get our anti-slime temporariness off. 
Um, and I don't have to worry about slime spawning on those bricks once, uh, once I'm actually standing here because I'll be too close to them. Remember, mobs need at least 24 blocks distance between the player and them. So let me retract those real quick because I just realized if I leave those out, some poor slime's going to spawn in the middle of all that. And with my luck, it'll be a small one that'll jump around and murder me mercilessly once I actually get back down off of this tower. Because some days... And that is good because that means I don't have to build much higher than I feared. I need to make a, a drop from... Okay. All right. So then let's, uh, let's get... Uh, you know, do I have... Let's just start mixing up uh, stone and andesite and cobble. And shoot, I didn't mean to waste a bit of stone like that. Because I want to put some walls in the corners. I should probably be careful that I don't, you know... F Plunge to my death while I'm working on this too. That that would be embarrassing. Oh, we'll throw a brick there, a brick there, and a stone there. And then it's just placing blocks. And placing blocks and placing blocks. trying very hard to be actually random and not managing it that much is certain although I have faith that it will look uh, close enough for government work of course I could just stop building right here and be about close enough for government work. We'll throw those there. Oh, right there. What have I not had there in a while? And we'll throw another stone. about doing the hard ones first. Okay. Sarait, sarait. Okay. Yeah. Alright, one another... Another eight more layers to go, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a water chute that goes eight blocks back, what, back that way. And then a series of platforms that'll flush to the water chute that'll then flush down the hole. Um, I guess my big problem is going to be the, uh, the stupid spiders. Again, again, again. Uh, I'll figure that out in a minute, though. 
basically the the main thing is I need to give them something that they can't grab hold of until they start falling and even then once they start falling other mobs should knock them off the wall and down to the bottom I'm just trying to make sure that I got a setup that uh, won't clog up with spiders like the design that I used back when we were first uh, playing around with uh, the Skyblock server. Because I had a couple of things that I, that I was playing with there that seemed nice, but the more the more I looked at them, the more I realized that it just uh, it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna work because it, some some designs just uh, they're simple to build. They they just have a tendency to collect things that uh, that you're not supposed to accumulate. There is a client side app that I am kind of tempted to download and install at some point. The The name escapes me at the moment. I think it was Nembom, either Nembom or El Mango that pointed it out. But basically you fill your hotbar with the palette of blocks that you intend to use. And every time you place a block, it will pick a random number between what's available on your hotbar and then pick that. So you can get a truly random wall going by by just uh, putting box. You don't have to think about it. And, and it is as legit random as you can be because it, it's it, it's just grabbing a uh, <laughs> it's just grabbing a grabbing a block. Sure, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, 45, no, 43. 53. 10 more. Okay. Count. Counting on one. Ah, no, wrong count. Um. That's how I know how tired I am that I'm making punchy jokes like that one. Definitely, definitely not feeling like this is getting as random as I want, but, um, definitely realizing I didn't leave myself a ladder to, to get down either. Uh, huh. I mean, I can try my luck at jumping into that water there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Plans. Who needs them? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, back to, back to business. Back to business. I also need to make sure that when I get up near the top, uh, that I have everything worked out so that I can, um... So that I can uh, uh, turn this farm on and off. I need to I need to rig a redstone signal from down there up to the top, and I need to make sure that when I turn the farm off. The water that would normally flush the mobs out of the system um, will uh, 
we'll we'll cover the the hallway so that uh, so that way mobs can't spawn there because I, I want to make sure that like the slime farm I can turn it off so hostile mobs aren't eating up the mob cap on like medic or Arcadius uh, or even Reyes because she's gonna be building one of these before too long too Since uh, that's what you need to get the other stuff you need to do everything you want to do. Alright, uh, let's get a little bit more of that going there. We'll put that going there. We got a happy stone here and a happy stone there. There are no mistakes. Just, you know, no. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents. Although... Now that I think about that, I'm wondering if that's like one of the music references I was talking about where I'm going to have to start saying kids as grandparents. Because, uh, Bob Ross was what, 70s, 60s, 70s, into the 80s? I can't remember if Bob Ross was actually, actually made it all the way into the 80s or not. Uh, well, I, I know the, the reruns did, but... I don't know if the actual joy of painting uh, managed managed to uh, to make it all the way into the eighties. I almost want to look that up. I mean, did Bob Ross live long enough to see the horror that is parachute pants? Would he have even considered them a horror? <laughs> they were. I mean, they made MC Hammer a lot of money, but, uh... On the other side, how many people remember who MC Hammer is? Fifty one. Okay. Ninety. He was only fifty two and ninety five. For some reason I for some reason I thought he was older than that. So when did he start the joy of painting? Cuz I really feel like that ran a lot longer. As 50. So this is level 52. I need one more and then we can start moving forward. So this is why 53. That makes that... <laughs> that, that... That is fair. That is fair. Because uh, that, that was a daily program uh, on PBS. I was about to say CBC, but that was uh, that was only because we lived that far north. I mean, I remember when the Doctor for Doctor Who was a uh, tall beanpole with a big old curly fro and a colorful scarf. Try not to think of that one too long either. <laughs> All right.
Let's get... I need this side just a smidge taller. Think about what I'm doing too. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. Because I want to build a canal eight blocks out. I mean, I guess technically I could go a little bit further and then drop the mobs just a little bit further. So I'll go um although if I did that I would need something to stop the water from flowing further out. I could do that with a ladder, but the ladder's not no not a ladder, maybe a sign. Of course then I got to figure out how Oh, that was almost bad. Okay, no no no. Let, let's uh let's mind mind the gap. Uh, oh wait, that's right. I'm not going to be able to do stone slabs without uh, the stone cutter, but I can make some andesite slabs and some cobble slabs. And there are no cracked stone brick slabs. Because Mo Yang doesn't love us. If they loved us, we'd have cracked stone brick slabs and stairs and walls and... Oh. <laughs> they, they count against uh, stray cats or tamed cats? Because, because that... That would be the question. If tamed cats count... Okay, because if I remember correctly, and it's something that I'd have to look up to double check, the idea would be to tame enough cats so that the village doesn't spawn more stray cats because it looks like there's a cat already there. There is a cat that where if there is enough, where if there is a cat within so many blocks, it won't. Uh, or enough cats within so many blocks that it won't spawn another one. So the idea would be to to set up the conditions so you get a bunch of tamed cats. Um, and then you don't have to worry about strays because the tamed ones are there. Um, that's right. I'm not going to need... Where did the other wall go? Oh, all right, fine. I'll find it later, somewhere. Oh, for serious? Well, fine, be like that. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't leave myself any regular andesite? Okay. I'll keep that there. And that's going to go there. I am higher than Y40, which means I don't have to worry about slimes. That's a far enough drop. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's a side effect from whoever uh, wrote the code doing so before tamed cats were a randomly spawning thing. 
uh, in a village. Because I, I know it gave you an ocelot egg when the reward was supposed to be a cat. Because at the time, at the time the U Skyblock was first put together, um, tamed, or sorry, uh, taming an ocelot was your only option for getting a cat. That was it. That's how that's how cats happened. You, you tamed an ocelot, um, just like dogs happened because we had couches. And a wolf said, oh, let me get close to that human. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> let, let, let's, let's see what we can do with this. All right. Uh, we're going to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight blocks out from the edge. I kind of wish I had some ice because I'd really like to replace this floor. I really would. In, in an ideal world, I would make this floor blue ice. That way the mobs get pushed a little bit quicker. Um, I really didn't want 82 extra crafting tables, but this is how you get 82 extra crafting tables. Because what I actually want to do is if I do that, that should make, allow me to make one, two fence gates. I guess I should have brought the one up from down below with me. Oh well, live and learn, you hope. And we'll go like that, and like that. Open those up, that way the water will flow to the edge and be stopped by the fence gates, but the mobs can still go through. And that means I can move this further out and, and just uh, use elevation changes to keep the water flowing because this is not, this is too small. This is too small. That, that's a lot, lot smaller than I wanted to do. Uh, the problem comes with, uh, hmm. The problem comes with Mobs getting... All right, all right. What I'm thinking is if I do that right there... I'm trying to make sure the spiders don't climb the walls. That, that's why I brought the glass panes with me. So that way I could line the side of this with glass panes. The problem is, is if I put the glass panes on this side that actually gives them half a block so they could conceivably get pushed to the edge, ride the edge, and then get stuck on this block and then try to climb or just sit here causing a hot mess of things. Um, that's a technical term, a hot mess. Um, I've worked at places where that was an accurate description of the various systems and controls. But if I build the wall and then put the glass pane there,
that would spiders are 1.4 blocks wide but that would still give half a block half a block or do I just uh, just let it go and hope for the best and just keep it two blocks wide with the water going because uh, I can't put I gotta put something to keep them from climbing up they can climb up doors they can climb up trap doors maybe I could put I could try to put trapdoors on the second level because I don't think they'll jump high enough that they could get up. This is one of those things that I probably should have checked in my uh, redstone testing world before uh, before I went to do something like this. just run the glass panes all the way to the back wall but all that does is push the problem a little bit further forward because as long as they got that half a block of lip they they won't be knocked down knocked down in there maybe I should have made this three by three uh, except then the the floor the, the movable floor would have been a nightmare to build yeah. All right. All right. All right. Then, then, uh, this is the way that it is. I kind of wish I'd brought more uh, smooth stone with me too. Oh, uh, bother! Well, at least I know I can definitely hit the water this time. Uh, because I tucked away, I tucked away some smooth stone somewhere. Actually, why am I worried about? I, I can just use the island warp. I I need to top off my coffee or something. Get it infused intravenously. Because somewhere around here, I stacked a stash of. There we go. And I don't need as many of these as I thought. Yeah, just see if Arcadius needs more slime blocks. <laughs> I, got, I got these four in a bit, plus another stack down there. And that's from the last time I ran this ages ago. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably also grab some more surely I've got more I need to get to cooking some more stone huh hmm I am gonna need more ladders yes no no I should be okay find out the hard way all right, what else am I forgetting? Help me remember what I just said two seconds ago. Because the short attention span theater is real. I'll top off some more andesite and more stone. I might even take some stone slabs with me. Actually, I might just go ahead and take that with me and I'll put that there for the moment because that's what I need is two more inventory slots taken up with random stuff All right, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would oh that's right I was gonna use uh, dark oak and spruce for the top of the for the decorative part of the top of the spawner I didn't want a big old stone box uh, do I have enough dark oak and spruce? I've got a bunch of those stairs, which is not what I needed. Um, oh shoot. Hmm. 
brain's not kicking in. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Eat some pumpkin pie. I think there was a pumpkin pie. Or some deep fried pecan pie. Or pecan pie, if you're particular about how it's pronounced. I'm going to have to get to harvesting some more spruce. I, I need to get that log farm cracking in the very, very near future. I think I hear an Arcadius angrily typing from across the room. He might be a little particular about the pronunciation of various foods and such. Here it comes. I'd say nobody wants it deep fried either, but we we both know people who uh, think differently about that one. <laughs> Like that con? Oh, that's right. I had dropped uh, some fences down here. Where did they go? All the way down to the floor. I think they went all the way down there, which means that they are hopefully in storage. Let's uh, put that, all right, if that's half a block there, that should get me to the bottom there, which will allow me to climb up here. This at least gives me a way to get back up to the top of the farm, and that should also allow me to do maintenance up here. And of course I have two, too, too many. All right, we'll just drop those in, uh, in storage. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that, that that's the part that has you guys fixated and not deep fried. I mean, when a couple of hearty eaters can't fi can't uh, finish a whole slice of deep fried pie because it's just that rich. That surprises me. Uh, not not for the reasons you're insinuating. Just given uh, given the the southern heritage and all, I, I actually I would have I would have figured you for more of that style of food. Now that baklava cheesecake that that's a that's a whole other. That, that's a whole other thing right there, good sir. A whole other very, very tasty thing. Why did I do that? That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Because um, I want to knock this down. I want the mobs to fall down two blocks so the zombies and whatnot can't jump back up. Oh, 
that's right. That's part of why I wanted uh, all that extra stone. decoration um hmm. I guess I need to actually get up a little bit higher myself yeah, because the again the idea is to have chambers uh, a chamber on that side that flushes mobs this way, a chamber on that side that flushes mobs this way, and I guess I guess I could try just two platforms, a platform on that side and a platform on this side, and see what I get. Because the other thing is I can always stack higher. Um, I can stack higher to get more spawning space and. That may end up being what I do. Yeah, that might end up that might actually end up being what I what I do. Uh hmm. If I put the water bucket down here, there's one, two, three. Okay, no, no, no. Eight. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where's oh, where's my inventory space? <laughs> oh, all right. Let, let's break these back down into blocks. That didn't actually solve my problem. Let's get this guy out for a minute. Let's make uh, four more stairs, four more stairs. realized after all this hard work I'm gonna have to travel down for a second bucket of water I'm gonna have to travel down for a couple buckets of water because uh, I I don't I only got the the one bucket I mean technically I could be making more than one bucket but more trips until I can get an iron farm. Then I'll start wasting iron on more buckets. Alright, let me go grab a second bucket. Uh, I've got a little infinite water source over here. I mean, well, I've got eight iron left. I could make another bucket. No. Yeah, let's make sure we don't die to the simplest fall. That would be embarrassing. And, uh, totally unprecedented. Right, there's my two ladders. Nothing else made its way down there, so I lost a couple of stone walls somewhere. I mean, technically it's not the end of the world. Right. 
So if I do that, that's enough water to push them that way. And with it being this high up, two blocks up, they shouldn't be able to jump back out. Shouldn't. So just for kicks, we're going to go ahead and make this one higher. Because why say words like shouldn't when you can say surely? Surely you shouldn't. I just re remembered that I still wanted uh, walls in the corners to help it help round it out a little bit. Uh, let's drop those there. That guy around the corner here. All right. So now they definitely can't. Uh, I would really like to do something different here. Because I am not climbing up this place one more time just for aesthetics. Ain't happening. Put those guys there. Yeah, we'll do it like that. That seems to be the theme of things. Alright, so this is where a platform is going to come out. This is one. We'll go two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I put the water source on here, that should push them right up to the wall. Yeah. All right, let me fill out this platform here for a minute. Uh, sure. Place the blocks, all the blocks. Oh, maybe not right uh, where stuff is supposed to go. Ooh, nice. Although, Sometimes I wonder if that's one that you should be congratulated on. Because <laughs> that's the one for uh, another right hoe, right? Uh, serious dedication? Yeah. That is definitely one of those achievements that, that I, I wonder if it shouldn't have a uh, air quote around it. Nice. Uh, no silk touch or fortune? Because you can put one or the other. If you use a fortune hoe on leaves, it increases your percentage chance of getting... Uh, it increases your chance of getting uh, saplings from the leaves. Uh, likewise, or and then likewise, if you use silk touch, you'll be able to silk touch the leaves. Oh, I'm sorry, but your enchantment is with another vendor. I don't know 
why I'm making why I'm working so hard to make sure that this looks good. Who's gonna see this? Not a soul. Right. Um three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. I guess I I should have knocked that oh wait, no, that's right, because that block's the one that's cut short. Okay. Okay. So the wall is going to go up here. And come across. Question is, is what am I going to put around that edge? some sort of stairs. What, what, what stairs? Uh, probably cobble. I've been using cobble for a lot of the trim anyway. Let me just, you know what, let, let's just, uh, there we go. Probably more than I wanted to use, but oh well. probably should have varied up the stairs as well, but I don't have inventory space to carry that many different types of stairs with me. Not this go-round. I guess with that, I don't... There's no point in having the wall there. Because that's just not going to look... Uh, that's just not going to look right. I think what it was I needed to do is I need to go like that. Hmm. I'm going to need more trapdoors too. Because I got solid blocks under there, I just need to bring up two buckets of water, and then I can get an infinite water source going up here, and then I don't have to make uh, 82 more trips. Alright, let's warp. Make trip one. Let's go ahead and go and there we go. I'll probably find out that I needed more later, but I'll deal with that later. Well, I'm 
here. So I'm going to need more, more stone. I'm going to need more stone brick. site and my inventory is fulled up. I might not need to carry the glass panes with me but on the off chance that I get up here and realize I forgot about some feature that really could use them. We'll do that. Probably also had a chest or something up here too for temporary storage. Um, let's just throw one of these guys up there real quick so I go an easier way in. We'll put this guy right there. You know, since I'm about to have an infant water source, I'll just borrow that right there because I can then do that guy there. think about that earlier I'll blame on insufficient coffee intake that was not what I wanted to do I wanted to grab a bucket of water uh, what I'm gonna need to do is I think these are the blocks I need to power Just uh, call that testing, and no. Which which are the blocks I need to power then? Because that needs to get. Wait, isn't that what I did down there? Or no, I powered the blocks over those. Okay. Oh. No, because I had this backwards when it's... Okay. All right. Uh, dyslexic redstone. I keep forgetting which state is for powered and which state is for unpowered. And I still haven't figured out how I'm running the signal and powering and unpowering that. But at least, at least I know I mathed that out right. Um, and maybe, maybe instead of trying to run a signal from down below, I could probably put a clock up here somewhere, and then and then power it on either side. You know, run the signal over the roof and back down again. I might have to get rid of the uh, the fences in the corner, though. Or the gates in the... Uh, yeah, the wall in the corner. Crikey. One of these days I'll have the right words. Alright, uh... Why did I bring all these? Oh, because roof. I still need to get the roof. Because that is... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to want... Uh, 
blocks over these guys. It's really eating away at my spawn platform. That's one less block there. But I need the trapdoors where they're at so the water actually reaches to the edge to push them off. And I'm probably going to have to build more of these. Well, that's okay. So I'll do this on this side, that on that side. I can. I got room to go back a little bit further and make another couple of platforms. Um, although what I'll probably do is instead of making it deeper that way, which means it's going to take more times for the mo more time for the mobs to get pushed that direction. I'll build more platforms like this and what I'm getting ready to build there and just stack them up. Um, so, so there'll be like one, two, and then three, four. Because the big thing to keep this efficient is to get the mobs out of here as quickly as possible. Yeah. So that, that, yeah. So I don't want to make it deeper that way. I want to make it taller because that means the they will always be to the end of the platform, to the end of that platform. Yeah, that, that'll be that'll be quicker. He says, hopefully. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And this is the way we place the blocks. That's, that's going to be uh, upside down cobble stairs going around the corners there. I probably shouldn't have that much cobble all the way up against the wall there, but... I think what makes that one the most frustrating is because I don't have silk touch yet. I, I can't really get a stone back. I'm going to have to get cobble back and then bake it back down into stone again. Because that's the way it goes. Thanks, Mo Yang. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Means we get our cobblestone upside down stairs going around the corner this way. One day a wandering trader will appear and I'll be able to get some some bamboo and scaffolding. Like actual scaffolding. Oh, are you kidding me? One stupid stair short. Fine. Yeah, I know. Although, of all of us, I think I've got the smallest area for a possible, you know, visit from uh, your local random wandering trader.
Ooh, I just realized uh, if I'm going to put that redstone there. Oh, never mind. The redstone's not spawnable, so nothing's going to spawn on that cliff. On that cliff, on that ledge. No, the cliff is the cliff of insanity. I can see it from here. Or maybe if you're into Metallica, I should, you know, start humming along to the frayed ends of sanity. Actually, no. In another nod to showing my age, every time I hear the Cliffs of Insanity, I hear, um... Uh, what's his name doing his character from The Princess Bride? Look! The Cliffs of Insanity! Dramatic music. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. It's wrong. But... Is it? All right. So far, so good. Oh, oh, somebody's been crafting up the redstone. Because that's the one that you get. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get some nether access first. All right. Leave those there for the moment. Just because it's going to make a few things easier in the short term. Gonna need some more dust. Dust this up until I can figure out how I'm going to move the signal and where I'm going to move the signal to and from. To and fro. Stop and go. I hear that's what makes the world go round. All right. wall too high. That is going to at least... Uh, let's not fall down our own trap, shall we? Alright. So this is going to have to go across this way. figure out the backside later. We'll get we'll start building up the wall. If you see any white walkers, let me know. Wait, wrong wall. That wall hasn't been finished either. Oh no, just the story about that wall hasn't been finished yet. I'm sure he'll get around to it. Eventually. So that's going to be, that's two blocks high, and then I need a ceiling. <laughs> I'm nodding my head like, <laughs> that way. <laughs> I need 
the ceiling that way. Like it's a night at the Roxbury. Oh. How old is that reference? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I, I don't think I could take it. I don't think I could take it. It is a funny movie. Uh, but what year? What year was the Night at the Roxbury? I mean, he asks with some trepidation. <laughs> Ninety-eight. Oh, <laughs> that was a minute ago. <laughs> Oh, great. Minecraft is going to strike me down with lightning. Is it going to channel its hate? Actually, you know what? I hate doing a clock like that, but I could probably make that work up and down this ledge. And then get a torch tower going on the side here. That that clock turns on and off. And if I did it right, I could set it up so that way each side is alternating, flushing and spawning. So while this side is flushing mobs down, that side is free for mobs to spawn, and vice versa. No, don't worry about it, medic. I can't sleep through thunderstorms either. Oh, in the game. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, so... Let me... Oh. <laughs> uh... Okay, that's... That's odd, because it sh should let you... Wait, what am I... What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not thinking things through. That's what I'm doing. Because I'm not going to build two more floors up until I get a proof of concept out of this and get a working clock. So I just need a roof over the top for now. Because I can always tear the roof down later. Uh, so that's one, two, and then I run across with slabs. And that keeps anything else from spawning across the top. Nothing can spawn on top of the wall. Or the redstone. Yeah, it should let you it should let you sleep through a thunderstorm though. But honestly, on the grand scheme of things that I need to look at, that's uh, that's not hitting the top ten. Uh, but I do need to find a a place to point you guys at to document that kind of stuff because it's the it's the short term memory problem. That, you know, we mentioned, oh yeah, such and such was a problem. And then when I finally get a chance to, to start digging into stuff, you know, uh, two weeks from now, it's like, uh, oh, what was it that everybody was complaining about? They were complaining about something. And, uh, um, yeah. And I hate doing that. I really hate doing that. Because it's not like I'm not paying attention or anything. I am. I just, I recall is in a very very sad place it's part of the list I'm working out for my doctor's appointment on the 11th and I'm going to write it down because again I don't 
Wouldn't that be the irony of ironies? Doc, I was supposed to tell you about something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right. It was about my memory. Bats actually have to have solid floor to spawn, too. I think they shouldn't... I'm like... So, uh, somewhat partially <laughs> certain that it won't uh, let them spawn in there. Alright. So now I need a clock that's going to alternately flush either side and... I guess I don't need those slabs. No, that's not going to save me space one way or the other. Uh, except I got that one odd number slab, but okay. Uh, alright, 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 alright. I'll, uh... There's my, there's my ladder. Uh, ooh. Mm. Of course it is. Might need to move my ladder over one block. <laughs> so that way I can do a circuit over here. Ah, I'll figure it out in a little bit. Because uh, what do I need to make that happen anyway? Solid blocks, All right? And they're going to need to go. Two out in either direction. And of course, I didn't put the ladder, keep the ladder with me. All right. And that means the ladder really shouldn't be there either. It should be one step further. Further on down the road. Uh, unless... Unless I put the... Yeah. Right. That's what I was worried about. Okay. walk this path all, almost all the way down. I'm curious now that that's been running for about two and a half hours. I wonder where my uh, supplies are. We'll come across this way. same on this side except for that guy there of course dude you're just racking in the challenges nice isn't top chef like the the fish and chips and all the different meals, or is that, or am I thinking of a different one? Which one's Top Chef? Top 
Oh, okay. Not yet. These are the guys that I was thinking of. The World Foods are the ones I was thinking of. And you got to do Top Chef to get those guys. figure out a clock that runs on that side same here. Alright, alright, okay. Because this isn't a nerve-wracking walk at all. Nope, nope, nope. I'll just add that to my temporary roof. For no good reason other than it helps it all tie together a little bit better. All right, so I need to ditch the building materials temporarily and get a bunch of repeaters and something I can power and unpower. Um, I'll do it with a lever for now. I, I don't love... I don't love that I have a... I don't have a way to turn on and off from the AFK platform. Uh, or even down here for that matter. But I'll... I'll one problem at a time. That's what they keep trying to tell me at least. Keep the slabs handy. Um, <laughs> nice. I guess I didn't need that either. Nice. Oh, did... <laughs> okay. I, I think I know what you did. Okay. Just built two golems inside your village because uh, all it really checks is if there <laughs> there's six villagers and uh, two iron golems. Hey, how's it going, Accident? I am having a bit of a day. So I'm working on this instead. <laughs> Normally on Fridays I do the Legend of Zelda playthrough, but uh, it, it's just been it's been a rough week. Uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta do something about that later. Um, Three fifty, okay. That's, that would be 26, so that'll be 25. I need to get some more pumpkin pies. I'm running low. Down to my last 30. Let's see how this has been going. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad for, what, two and a half hours? Two hours, 40 minutes? I mean, 
I'd like it to be faster, but... Whoever, whoever said their farm was too fast. I go for some fish and chips. Uh, that, that's it. Let, let, let's. That's it. We're going for fish and chips. Who's on board? Uh, was it not stone that I needed for the the the? Oh, because I need. There we go. Goodness gracious. The memory, it does nothing. Mm, maybe not 47. Because I think I'm starting to run a little low on redstone too. least one torch. I'm going to need uh, a block I can power and unpower. I'm going to need one more lever. Mm, I need more. I need more redstone dust. Uh, did I leave some up? In the main storage area that I still haven't gotten around to moving yet. Oh, okay. Not as bad as all, bad off as I thought. Especially since I had thirty-one repeaters just sitting right there. Oh, and a torch. Oh, hello, friend. I see you. Uh, I throw my sword at you. <laughs> you, you can stay over there. I have no armor. I have no nothing with which to thwack you. Not without dying repeatedly a frustrating number of times. Um. Actually, for no good reason. Uh, oh, I needed a ladder. That's one taller up there now. All right, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work out some wiring so I can turn some of this on and off from down below. But I can have it in AFK mode so they all just kind of drop down into the storage system for the slime farm. Or they can die manual style on there. And I'm going to need an actual on and off up here. But for the moment... Oh, no, I didn't need a ladder. For the moment, what I'll probably just do... Uh, 
Did anybody ever figure out how to pronounce that? The Shmurr challenge. That might be a Corrales question. See if we can figure it out. Uh oh. I see somebody walking around down there. Are you hunting the horse medic? Because you know you can't kill anything on my island. No. I was thinking of inviting them over for tea later. Besides, you're going to have to lure them over to your island. Or you're just going to keep getting them to fight each other. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it let you uh, ride on top of that one. Oh wait, no, that's not you. That's a skeleton in golden armor. That's, uh... <laughs> that is the weirdest sight. Alright. And then if I do that and that... I'll start screwing with delay here in a minute. This is this is horrible. I I miss being able to do hopper clocks and other efficient things. So if I do it like that. That's going way too quick. Alright, so let's start throwing... affect the one because I need them to stay powered longer than they're unpowered I don't think, I don't think the, <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, timing, timing, timing. Hello, Nemesis. Oh 
might actually if maybe if I move the start further back that would actually help because then I could roll a lot of delay up on this side which would keep that side powered more Um, I would love to, but I don't have nether access yet. So anything that requires a comparator, I, I'm out of luck. And the version of U-Skyblock that we're using, you, each island has a cap of a maximum of 50 hoppers. So ideally what I would do is just do a hopper clock, uh, which is what I did on the various mob farms in Season 1. But a hopper clock means tying up two hoppers out of the 50 max just for a clock. Now, I have also thought, you know, maybe maybe, so <laughs> maybe somewhere between these two farms, I'll set up a hopper clock and then tie that farm to the hopper clock and this farm to the hopper clock. And, and then start using, uh, using that. I don't have string. I, I can't get any string until I get the mob farm going. Uh, I, I'm kind of limited on my options for clocks, believe me. I, I would much rather be using something a little bit better than this. Um, and, and ideally, I'd rather, I'd rather use a uh, uh, the variant that uses a lot of comparators, but I gotta, I gotta get more... Uh, uh oh. Is Medic going for the uh, full roster of challenges? Alright. Uh, so let me. Let's do this. Because I want. <laughs> yeah, that assumes a little more iron than I have on hand. Alright, so water's out. Eh, let's try this. Let me let me cover that up. Let me get far enough away that Nothing's nothing spawnable on any of those. Let's uh gird ourselves with a sword and prepare to do battle. <laughs> or some such nonsense like that. Uh I'll actually extend those out and let's see if anything drops. I mean, I know, I know that there's more clocks that I should be able to do than ooh, brownies. Ooh. Oh, come on. I can't reach the stuff over on that side. Fine. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see one flaw in my plan. No, I could reach it through there. Okay, good. Maybe, maybe this will work. Oh! Oh, come on, man! I needed the string! 
Uh... Actually, I suspect... I bet the spiders are, are climbing up the wall on there. I forgot to do something about that. I needed to I needed to line the second the second level of the wall such that I think I solved my dispenser problem. Uh, oh come on. Are you kidding me? I got that one spot right there that I can't reach. Well that okay. There we go. Hi, friend. Yeah, I know. I know. The creepers at the door is giving me just a smidge of anxiety as well. Not gonna lie. Hey, I got armor with projectile protection and unbreaking three. And three durability. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, I, I think I think for my own sanity I need to cover the glass. <laughs> oh, oh thank you. Cause I need spider eyes. That that's one of the that's part of the challenge and that's why that's why I'm that's why I've engineered so much around making sure that the spiders actually get flushed down the trap. All right. So as much as I don't like the clock and the way the way everything's set up, uh <laughs> Oh yeah, no 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 no. No, that that's glass. That's set up so that way the spiders can't climb back up. And oh man, that that guy might have been just a smidge too close for comfort. Yeah, I think for my own sanity, I might put a uh backdrop to that. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I feel less bad about uh, the way this... Ah, you stupid bat. And the other nice thing is it looks like these guys are landing on the blocks. So if I put this in AFK mode, nobody should be hanging out on the lip which was one of the other concerns I had, that I was going to get all this squared away. And they were going to fall, but they were going to fall on the lip, like that guy did. Okay, so that is a valid concern. Uh, shoot. Oh, oh, he can see me from the back corner. That's, that's not terrifying. Nope, not even a little bit. Ah, oh, you stupid bats. Give me a bat head. I wonder what I wonder what I gotta do to make sure that uh that lip is something they don't fall on. Uh, walls, maybe. Because the, the big thing is, is that half a block is enough to keep the spiders from crawling out of range. So if a spider falls and starts trying to climb the wall back up, he'll stop at that. I think a wall is just a smidge too fat and they'll be able to climb up over the lip. I think. Oh, these guys. Forever. <laughs> oh, oh, um... The, the the only wait oh 
uh, replace those two with uh, with walls. Um, yes, but then I, I still got to worry about the same problem when they hit the, the pit down there. And I swear for a second there, it looked like somebody survived that fall. And I was going to... Yeah. Although it doesn't seem to be happening that often. All right. I need I need some of the player kills and these stupid bats. Cuz what I really need is I need I need spider eyes to complete the monster hunter challenge. <laughs> I kind of like that. that's a nice way to <laughs> Okay, that that was just funny. How are the spiders dying? They shouldn't. They shouldn't be hitting that hard. Uh, the other thing I need to do is I need to get uh, I need to get another computer set up that so I can run my uh, camera account because uh, multi MC doesn't work with the uh, Microsoft accounts because I wouldn't mind getting a picture of what's going on up there because I, I I deeply wonder if I'm not getting a problem with uh, spiders clogging up various parts and the only way to tell for sure is to have somebody here while somebody else goes and checks and with the camera count in spectator mode I don't have to worry about accidentally uh, turning off the farm by having you know yeah oh Hi, lady. Ooh. I'll take that potion. I mean, since you clearly don't want it anymore. I hate that I can't reach everything in the center, though. I mean, I, I guess I'm happy to just keep opening up the door. Um, I gotta get to the nether first. I need spider eyes! Spiders! Of course, now, now that I know that I got the proof of concept going, uh, what I can do... Uh, Alright. So, I know that this will work so long as this is running. Um, let, me, let me drop this stuff down into storage real quick. Finally got some bows now, too. That's always nice. Alright, let me leave that open for a second while I jump up here to... Because I think I miscalculated two small things. Yeah, I hear, I hear the spiders. I also realized that I need those to be unpowered for the uh, water to stay out. Okay, no. So when I turn this on, when I turn this off, that that will stay flushed. But yeah, yeah. All oh yeah. There's the uh, some spiders with. Uh, uh, I was about to say enhancements. Uh, <laughs> some very very problematic spiders. Let let's just call it that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh bother. So I need so let me go back and get the glass panes and I think <laughs> uh I think if I line That's actually you know, that's not a bad haul. Not for just a few minutes. I, I could finally get some bone meal to do some stuff with, and uh, an in, a potion of instant health is always nice. I, I've never, I've never heard where that would be a problem. Um, 
Medic says that guy's taken care of. Right? Okay. Oh, that's right. I need uh I need saddles. Okay. Don't don't wander off into Rea Island. She'll capture you forever and ever. <laughs> uh free labor force. That's not far enough for those guys to despawn, so let me let me run Rast isn't on, so nobody should be on that side. Let me just run to the other side of Medic's Island and back. And that should be far enough away for those guys to despawn up there. Um uh, now that oh well as I started rambling earlier, now that I know that I got a working proof of concept, I can also build more platforms up. But I guess the big thing I got to do is make sure that I've got the inside set up so that way the um, the the spiders. <laughs> oh, medic! Did did you ever um did you ever fix your walls? Nope. Uh, because I don't I don't know if you knew that they were doing that. They were suiciding over the over the edge. And escaping in other directions, too. Alright, so the spiders should be gone. Ah, okay. I, I thought it was the big guys jumping on top of the small guys. That should be far enough for those guys to have despawned. I hope. Watch, I'm going to tear open that roof and spiders are going to start billowing forth. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and make up another sword while uh, before I go too far. You know I can probably also take a couple of those. Yeah. Let's grab some arrows. Ah, I'll... I'll s oh. I need an anvil. Alright, I'll get to that part. Okay. Oh, craft a sword. Craft a sword. Focusing on. Focus. What is this focus thing? Alright, uh... Oh, I need... to cobble to make a another stone sword. Oh, yang. Inventory space. And a bigger hot bar. Greatly appreciated. Thanks, the community. Bats are gone. That's usually a good sign. Yeah, let me figure out how to make sure that the spiders don't uh, stay when they should go. Oh, I didn't know you got a skeletal familiar. Oh, wrong patisserie. Uh, for the audience, Arcadius played a wizard, necromancer, uh, a chef-themed necromancer, and his familiar was named Patisserie. It was awesome. All right. So the spiders are still able to climb up there. If I do this, that should keep them from climbing? Question mark. I mean, 
there's always the chance that they're going to get stuck over there. But unless I, I do something like... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to need more glass. some more glass panes. I wonder if that will, uh, I wonder if that'll do. That'll keep them from climbing up the wall, because that should be enough of a gap that it doesn't kill some of the spawning, because that, that should still appear as a clear area, which means the, it, it, yeah. It means things that I can't clearly articulate on this level of cognition. Which again is why I'm doing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a tough day. Stressed out. Can't focus. Can't think straight. So instead of doing the complicated Zelda series, let's do Redstone instead. Oh, what do I, what do I feel like? I didn't quite, I didn't quite match that up correctly. There's a small chance that I might not have done that one correctly. All right. I got some glass over here somewhere. Yeah, li not, not just redstone, live redstone. <laughs> uh, brain dead, tired, run down, do some redstone live on air. Nah, it's fine. All right, uh, I'm hanging on to the sticks. I don't need the ladders. I guess I don't need those there for the moment. Uh, I came up here for glass. I'm going to need one to do that other challenge for the time being, which means how many panes can I make? Another 32. That's going to have to be enough, isn't it? All right. That is the weirdest collection of buildings. Oh well. That's why I'm hiding all the farms down below. <laughs> all the pretty stuff's going to go on top. Matter, I'm going to move those tree farms down here at some point. Probably once I get this worked out a little bit better. Yeah, exactly. I, I know exactly how that goes. I mean... I know, I I know at least a dozen different ways to make a clock, unless I am live building and need to go, uh, clock, clock, clock goes tick, tick, tock, no, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, man, do I ever get that one. Let's slow down and not accidentally uh, screw up the glass placement because I don't have anything with silk touch just yet. And it would make me cry to waste more glass. Alright, and... Let's do that there. Yeah, item, item sorters I've almost built enough that, that I could probably do that even half brain dead. Almost. But I built a lot of them last season and, and it really hurts that I'm not able to this season uh, because of the limitations on the number of hoppers. And to do, do proper sorting, you're going to need... yeah. Yeah. 
Alright. So let's get let's start her up. Let's head back down and let's see if we get some more spiders. And then I might call it a success. And if I have the time between now and Tuesday's stream, I'll probably add another uh, match set of layers above that one. Although, that means I'm going to need more glass. And I could melt down a bunch of the sand that I do have. Because that thing is producing enough cactus that is keeping me quite well in sand. Nobody spawning? Did did I mess something up? I didn't kill that much of the available spawning space, did I? Or is somebody too close to their own mob farm and we just hit the mob cap? Uh, oh. Oh, for serious. Why, spider? I need you to live long enough for me to be the one that kills you. Oh, <laughs> hello, Zumbi. <laughs> Give me that iron sword. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, carrot. Yes. Oh, another one of you guys? Oh, I wonder if I wonder if they're spawning underneath the uh, the glass. Come on! What in the world? Or, in the words of Rast, for serious. What is killing these spiders, but not anything else? Like, like I, I'm about ready. I'm about ready to go get some honey blocks and just put some honey blocks in here. Uh, oh no, I, I gotta, I gotta get the, I gotta get a bee's nest first, then I can get the honey blocks. Maybe I'll just curse at the bats for a little while and call that good enough. All right, here they come. I, I do like that with the uh, diminishing tools, it looks like I'm hitting them with an ever-decreasing nubbin. Hmm. All right, looks like I'm rocking the solid gold. <laughs> As I start, uh, you know, talking about the soul train. <laughs> I mean, my biggest problem is that I, I would really like to repair it, but uh, that's not an option. I, I am not getting enough gold out of the ore generator to uh, to to warrant repairs. That's for sure. Okay, th this is not bad. This is not bad. Except for that part. <laughs> Stupid spiders. Uh, I don't think I've collected a bat head yet. I mean, I probably will with enough time over here. Come here, you. Yeah, 
I, I wonder I wonder what I'm gonna have to do to get the uh, to get the spiders to not immediately die upon landing. I would have thought so. Oh. Oh, that's mean. But there's not there's not enough room for them to get that extra blocks because they're going uh beat roots. Uh, there's, there's not enough extra room for them to, to be getting that one last little block of fall damage because right above the drop shaft, I put a stair to keep them from doing that. So they should be, they should be getting pushed off unless they're climbing up the side, like the left side or the right side. All right, let's, um, let's put some of our uh, storage away there, especially the carrot. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. You can make red dye from beetroot in Java. Oh, uh, just don't get distracted. You don't have an elytra to catch you. <laughs> I hear you, spider. Okay, so they they are it does sound like they are uh Oh. You bum. Yeah, come on. Come up here and get it. I <sighs> I hate spiders with a deep and abiding passion. These guys are an absolute pain. sitting here agonizing over come on come on poke out from there again say what <laughs> I mean since I keep breaking out all the old references I might as well break that one out too come on Say what? Say what again? <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, guys. What are you guys doing up there? I wonder then if instead of... Holy mother of bats... I wonder if instead of using fence gates to hold that back, if I should actually put signs. Because those stairs, I, I would have thought, would have kept them from there. But they're they're climbing up a different... Uh, they're making life so difficult. I, 
I'm trying to make an, a, a simple artisanal mob farm and they're just making life so difficult. to think about that but because it's 10 30 and I got a long day tomorrow but the mob farm is mostly working holy mother of bats That's still not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let me go find... Uh, nope. Nowhere near enough room. Let's go find somewhere to check the challenge. Alright, so for the monster farm, I need 64 rotten flesh. Almost there. I need 32 string. Not too far off. 32 arrows, got that. 32 bones, got that. 16 gunpowder, oh yeah, definitely got that. Uh, and 5 spider eyes. Which they were discourteous enough to not drop when I nailed them with the bow. Hmm. Wait, was that a durability zero bow? Yes, it is. Uh, I'll craft that into a dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably go plant that carrot somewhere too, but I got to figure out where I'm putting my farmland. Because uh, I, I think I, I'm going to, I'm still going to, uh, try to I forgot about I had some I forgot I, I got four spider eyes from an accidental mob farm I just need what five more I don't even know what I'm doing I, I'm just aimlessly moving stuff around pay no attention to the man rambling Definitely going to save that. Um, what was I even rambling about? I don't know. I so don't know. I had something in mind. Alright, um, yeah. Alright, I'll have to figure out what to do about the spiders so they get flushed down like I expect them to. I need to, because I need, I need more spider eyes. You can only get spider eyes from a player kill. They do not drop unless it is a wolf or a player that kills them. And that only matters because wolves count as player kills. Um, although, I will do one more thing. Let me, uh, oh, beautiful. I just need some red flowers. Some red flowers of blue thorns. Oh, wait, no. Uh, let, let's try not to think too hard about how old that movie is, too. 
Ik. <laughs> um, O2? Mm, I, I think it might be a little bit... Uh, I think you might be sad on that one. Oh, I need one more wool. Because I always miscount how much wool. And let me go grab... What do I have for Plank Sandy? I'll dye that orange later. Uh, the the homeowner challenge requires a red bed. Um, I don't know. So I'll go find somewhere to... I'll go find some random place to go set all that stuff down. But finally, finally, I can sleep through the night. Although, I gotta find an actual platform to put that on too. Because otherwise, uh, it, it doesn't... It doesn't like it when you when you have a bed on half slabs for some reason. Or bottom half slabs at least. Uh, where's my... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right behind the furnaces. You know, keep you nice and toasty. <laughs> uh, I mean, I joke, but Reyes probably would do that. Maybe not even probably. That's not bad. I, I, I got I got something mostly functional. Um <laughs> care, careful with some of the jokes. You know what? Okay, just just because I can't figure out when to actually stop. Let me uh let's do this. Let's go put some signs down. And what I'm actually thinking of doing is letting the water extend. Oh, actually, I'll probably need four. No, because I got the stairs up there, so that'll keep it from going any further than that. Uh, except the creepers won't fall that way. Okay, never mind. That won't work. I, I probably should actually finish the thought for... Uh, <laughs> <sighs> let's uh let's do this then. Oops. That's not the one I wanted. Is it here? That'll get me close enough. That's right. I can't do that because that's there. Oh! Okay, never mind. For some reason I thought I had mismeasured that and the water wasn't going to end there. So maybe I didn't need those. Maybe, maybe that's... Maybe that was my problem all along. Because if I put anything here that's going to stop the spiders from climbing, it's going to stop any mobs from getting pushed through as well. Yeah. So, this, and this may in fact just be as good as it gets. Um, no, because they can climb over buttons. They, they can climb, yeah, they can, they can climb over buttons, they can climb over uh, 
walls they in java uh they can climb over buttons they can climb over walls they can climb over signs they can climb over doors and uh fence gates and fence posts and walls and pretty much anything other than an overhang so as long as they've got a surface to climb up the side and there's no overhang they can climb up it uh, and even if there's a half slab gap, they can cross that half slab gap. Because uh, they are 0.9 blocks high, so it's enough to cover. Uh, I think a full block gap is too big for them to, to climb. So I, I, don't, I don't know if there's something I can do with that, but let's... Uh, because I don't know when to actually stop. Well, I know when I should have stopped, but I don't know when to actually stop. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Except we'll pop that up. Give them a minute to, to do their thing. And that's probably why the initial starts a little funky, too. Because um, if the spiders are blocking the drop chute, matter of fact, the, those stairs, the upside down stairs that I have to keep the spiders from collecting that top corner, that, that might, a hello friend, ooh, chain mail, I can has chain mail. Oh, I even get some my first enchanted gear. I didn't do anything for it. Protection 2. No durability. Z literally zero durability. All right, I'll, I'll hang out of those for a minute. Oh, hey, hello, friend. All right, that, that might have actually just been enough. That one spot in the middle that I can't collect. Oh, are you kidding me? See, it's not just the leaves that... Uh, <laughs> that things don't seem to want to fall correctly. I mean, seriously. Fall! See, medic. <laughs> it's not just it. it it's yeah. <sighs> For serious. Uh, that can't be the only spider. There's got to be more of them. They're getting stuck up there somewhere again, aren't they? Hello, friend. I'm looking up like... <laughs> oh, ah, come on! Your buddy didn't, didn't die horribly. Didn't go kersplat. I also noticed I haven't seen any um, any zombie villagers pop out of this thing yet. That's gonna make life interesting too. I, I may have to make a dark box just uh, just long enough to get the zombie villagers. But honestly, until uh, until I get the the brewing stand to make the potions of weakness and enough gold to actually you know cure them, uh, I don't I don't think there's much point in uh, doing anything about that. Watch. Uh, oh, oh, potato. Potato. You're one of the drops that I was looking for. Mm. Actually, now that I'm thinking about potatoes, I could really go for some uh, bacon cheddar fries. And a little bit of chili. 
I'm hungry now. Ooh. That's it. Keep me stocked up in armor. <laughs> I mean, it ain't the best armor, but I'll take it. Actually, no. <laughs> get, get, given the uh, the the piglins, I, I'll 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 keep a, a decent stack of gold armor handy. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's got to be it. The spiders are moving that one block higher up. I might just put some half slabs down there just long enough to get the spider eyes. Although, even that, I'm going to need the spider eyes for more than just the challenge, though, aren't I? Because they're needed for... Uh... Fermented spider eyes are needed for the potions of the weakness that I'm going to need to cure the villagers with, too. Bother. Complete and other bother. Alright. I'll have to start thinking about ways to manage that. Let me, let me turn this off, because I've at least made improvements. Nope. Or are they getting flushed? Nope. They're still hanging out somewhere. They're getting stuck somewhere. Where are you at? Hello, friend. Oh, you're getting stuck in that corner there, huh? Can you drop an eye for me? No? This is why everybody makes mob farms that don't allow spiders to spawn. Ow! You bum. You can do that. Oh, and those bats are taking the arrows for you. For serious. Come on, people. <laughs> I'm about ready to start doing a rain of arrows on all these stupid bats. How did you get up there? How did you get up? Oh, because you climbed up those glass panes on the wall because my brilliant idea was not nearly so brilliant as I thought. Hi. Can I hit you from under there? Alright, so this is an idea that's going to need some refinement. Uh, those glass panes along the back wall actually allow them to climb back up. Um, I might actually take out that wall, or those two blocks down there, and put the glass panes down below so they... Uh, yeah... Except, that's, ah, uh, rosa, 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 rosa. I should sleep. I'm mumbling. I'm not making any sense whatsoever. Well, okay. That, that might not be as unusual as you would think. Uh, I'm making less sense than usual whatsoever. How about that? Are these pants better? Protection 2 and breaking 2. Oh. There we go. Let's get the full set of gold. 
I am now officially solid gold. Yeah. And these guys. These guys. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Th this is why I probably should have gone with my original idea anyway and set up one of the platforms that doesn't have a wall that they can climb back up. I mean, it's not too late to tear that all down and start over again. <laughs> no, no, I have not. I'm about to. I, come on. I'm crazy, but uh, oh, I got another bad head. Huh. Nice. Done what? Oh, yeah, tear down the mob farm and rebuild it again. I mean, my objective was to not do that. that that's why I didn't set up a, a temporary one. I, I wanted the fully automated flush o uh mob farm set up, mob farm of awesomeness set up from the word go. Because uh, I'm really trying hard to not, not tear stuff down and rebuild it. Uh, I just, I don't have the, I don't have the time to double up on work but I may I may have to do that with this one just because uh, I can't uh, I can't seem to get those stupid spiders to play nice I might be able to get most of what I got there to work anyway because uh, if I made a big enough square basin around the edge then I could do the diamond platforms above it. Uh, I've got I've got a couple of bows I can use to make dispensers now. I would just need, uh, I just need to get to the Nether so I could use uh to, so I can make uh, observers. But I can't do that until I I, I can't do that until I uh, get this mob farm cranking because I need the flint from the uh, from the challenge. All right. Five eyes down. It's still not bad. And, and, I got the potato and carrot now. So I can start farming those too. Which will be nice. Uh, it, yep, I'm making... Random grumbly noises. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, why was I crafting all those? I had 34 there? All right. Ne for forget fixing the mob farm. N Tuesday, it's going to be consolidating all my storage into a big organized system down there. That That's it. I'm working on storage Tuesday because I, I... Oh, that irks me to find out that I had all those stupid... Fence gates already made up. Thank you for joining along. <laughs> Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, yeah, it, it's been. It was a week. It was a week. So instead of the normal Zelda series, I I, I just did. Uh, a more laid-back coffee craft stream um, and I deeply apologize to like the three people who have been actually actively following the the Zelda series and uh, yeah I, I should be back on track next week I hope to be back on track next week um, but uh, but we'll see I, I do try to I do try to keep posted on stuff like that if I know as early as I know that I'm not gonna make it uh, I also have that set up on Twitter so if you haven't already follow along there, I'm going to start making a better effort to post on the YouTube channel when there's last minute schedule changes. Uh, so that way people who follow there will get the notification. It irks me to no end that YouTube really encourages creators to post on their channel. 
and neither the YouTube app nor the YouTube Studio app allow you to post posts. I have words to say about that, but I will not do them here because I try to run a family-friendly channel. But that is friendly ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Let, let, all right. Let, let's see who's available for a raid. Who we got? None of the people who I follow who I would prefer to raid. Beast Lord's not on. Grimly is not on. Oh well. I, uh. Yeah. Out of all the channels that I follow, no, nobody's on right now. Oh well. I, I, I guess, uh, I guess this is it. Have fun. Thank you all for showing up, and I will see you next time.